So you need always to have also only one answer. If you need to have a solution, different solution to every problem, that's a big problem. Because you need to know so much. And this is why, no, I must finish Masechet this and Masechet that and I must finish. Oh, no, and in Likutei Moharan, so many Torot. You don't need that. That's only if you're stupid. That's only if you have separations in the world, like every part of your life is separate. No, this is Yaakov, this is Moshe. No, it's now. It's all Hashem. And when you know that it's all Hashem, and in every situation Hashem is telling you only one thing, come back. So you just need to have one answer. This is why we call Baal Tshuva, the one that owns an answer, that one that knows how to answer. There is only one answer. We're not Baal Tshuvot. We're not coming to answer questions. We don't have answers. We have one answer, to come back to Hashem. So you just always need to say, okay, I want. I want to do what you want me to do. I said to one of my friends, I told him, you need to, 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 to do things for your wife to make her happy. You, so he said, like what? I told him, you need to buy her things. You need to, to bring things that she loves. So he was honest enough to say, I don't know what she loves. And he's married with her for over six years, six, seven years. And he really doesn't know what she loves. He doesn't know her favorite color. He doesn't know what's her favorite food. He doesn't know her favorite musician, music. Star. He doesn't know his wife. So he said, okay, now let's say I'm so bad, I really don't know what my wife she loves. How can I? You see, I'm lost. I cannot do that also. I told him no. So he said, so how? How am I going to do it? I told him, if you will want to do it, you will ask her, hey, tell me. So what if seven years they haven't spoke about it? Today, if you ask her, what's your favorite color? She will answer. And if she will not going to answer, and she will say, oh, you don't know. So what if you will want to hear? So after that rebuke, after that fight, you will ask her again. And in the end, you will hear. It depends on your will. If you want to know, you will know. Because in the path that the person wants to walk in, they're leading him, walking him through that path. If you want to complete your tshuva, you're going to make it, even in the last day. Who cares? Who cares when? No, today I want to be righteous. Today I need to break that wall. But you're not able. Okay, so you see it's too hard. Who said that you need to do it today? No one said that you need to do it today. They just said, you need to do it. So do it. One day after the other. One day at a time. Today I'll do what I'm able to do. To say, Shema Israel, can I do it? Yes. So do it. To tell you I love you, can you do it? Yes. But I can't buy you a house. So what? So even to say I love you, because you can't buy her a house, so you're not going to tell her I love you. I don't feel that I love her. You know why you don't feel that you love her? Because you don't love yourself. Because you have issues with yourself, so you cannot feel a love to a person. What's the problem? You don't love this cup? You don't love this stone? What, you have a problem? No, it's a stone. What there is to hate? It's a, just a stone. It's just standing here. What's the problem? Hi, I love you. I really love you. Thank you for coming to my class. What's the problem? What happened? <sighs> What's the problem? You don't feel love? What's the problem? What's so bad with this piece? Of it's like, it's a stone. What are you, stone? What's your problem? You can't appreciate a person that works with you, that lives with you, that cooks for you, that do things for you, that he doesn't do anything. He's just suffering and struggling in his life. I said to my wife, if I would grow in your parents' house, I would kill myself for sure when I was 14. 100%. I wouldn't make it to 15. No doubt. I'm telling you that's the truth. And it, it's not such a bad house. But I am so sensitive. And she had to be so tough to hold on over there that I wouldn't make it. I know myself. I would kill myself. If I would have to go through your child, I would kill myself. I would shoot myself. I would throw myself from a building. I know I'm not able. 
All of my childhood I watched cartoons and I had money and I suffered. And I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> what happened with Bambi? Is she gonna make it? She's not gonna make I couldn't stand life. And I was so spoiled and everything was so good. Like good. Not real good, but like I could survive that path. But another path I couldn't. So let's say that she doesn't move a finger. She's lazy as hell. She doesn't want to move. She doesn't clean. She doesn't take no showers. She is... A, it's horrible. A horrible condition. If you would replace with her. If you would switch with her. If you would go to her place. Do you think that you would be better than her? Can you really judge her on her actions? Maybe tell her how cute she is, how nice she is, how sweet she is. Maybe help her to build herself, to love herself, to appreciate, to find good points in herself. Maybe that desire to take a shower will wake up inside of her. Maybe she will have a reason to be clean for you, to be clean for herself. Maybe after being crushed for so many years, you don't want to take a shower anymore and you don't care about brushing your teeth anymore and you don't want to clean the house and who cares about all of that. Maybe after being so humiliated, so down for so many years, so, such, so disgraced for so many years, you don't want to cook anymore and you don't, you're not even, you're like, you just want to complain and to go drown in your sadness and depression and sorrow. Maybe if you now gonna love her, maybe if you now gonna care about her, about him, so maybe he gonna wake up, like Abenu is saying, by judging a person favorably, so you help him to come back to Hashem. That's our job. I'm gonna judge you favorably, and without Hashem, you won't be lazy, and you will do a good job. Amen. Amen. Goodbye. The success. You know me. My name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me. Close your eyes. Just breathe. See the truth. Don't chase the fake world. Don't buy the fake news. Be yourself. Your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good. No fear. No despair. Cherish who that you are. And share. Source of power. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground. Hold yourself up to